Michaela. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm Chelsea from X-Ray. I'm going to be taking some pictures of your cervical spine, your neck area. Okay. Um, can you tell me what brings you in today? Um, yeah, I've just had some really bad neck pain. Okay. Do you know of anything that may have caused it? I don't think so. Okay. Um, does anything make it better or worse? Um, some ice and heat makes it feel a lot better. Okay. Um, ibuprofen, definitely. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? Um, right now it's probably like a 7 or an 8. Okay, sharp pain, throbbing pain? Um, kind of more of like a throbbing, constant. Throbbing, okay. Um, and can you just verify your name and date of birth for me? Um, it's Michaela Clementer, 9109. And is there any chance you could be pregnant? No, ma'am. When was your last menstrual cycle? Last week. Last week. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is change into a gown. Um, if you will take off all jewelry, um, you've got your hair up, so if you'll let your hair down so the hair bow doesn't show up and your headband out. Um, shirt, bra, anything from your stomach up, let's just go ahead and remove and just make sure the gown closes in the back and we'll get started. All right. Okay, Michaela, if you'll come stand over here for me with your back against the board. Um, and for this, this is an AP axial of the cervical spine. Um, and what we do is we put a angle on our tube, 15 to 20 degrees cephalid towards the head. Um, we use a 40 inch SID and a 10 by 12 lengthwise cassette. I'm going to go ahead and turn our light on and mark it. This is her right side, so I'll just put this right here to make sure it's in the image, or you can put it down while it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that her mid-sagittal plane is in the middle, or in the center, excuse me. And your central right is entering to C4, which is about the level of your thyroid. Um, again, 15 to 20 degree angle. And collimate down to a 10 by 12. I did collimate in a little bit on the sides because you're focusing on that spine right there. Um, I made sure that my tube and my bucky tray are aligned. Um, and for this, I'll just have her suspend her respiration, so blow your breath out, hold it out, and then I would take the exposure, but first I would put the lead shoot on her. She is of childbearing age. So again, blow your breath out, hold it out, take the exposure, you can breathe. Um, what is shown on the AP axial cervical spine um, is the lower five cervical bodies and the upper two or three thoracic bodies. Um, the interpediculate spaces, superimposed transverse and articular processes, and intervertebral spaces, um, intervertebral disc spaces are all seen on the AP axial cervical spine. Um, we use an 85 kVp at 63 mass kV, or excuse me, 85 kVp at 63 um, mass for the technique. And next we will move on to an open mouth. Um, and just to clarify that technique for the AP axial, that was a um, 6.3 mass, not 63. Um, so now we're going to do an odontoid open mouth. And um, I still have the 40 inch SID. Um, we take the angle off, there is no angle. Uh, we're going to have her open her mouth and you're going to enter in through the open mouth perpendicular. Um, I'm using a 10 by 12 cassette. You can use an 8 by 10 or 10 by 12, whatever you have available. Um, and just collimate down to an 8 by 10. I do have my marker down here. It's in the light field and a shield on her. Um, and let's see. You can also comb it down to a 5 by 5, um, 5 by 5 inches, so we can comb it down a little. And if you will open your mouth, you can move her over just a little. And we're actually going to have her say, ah, ah, and you would take the exposure as she's saying, ah, and now you can close your mouth. Um, this is done using an 85 kvp at 8 mass. Um, Again, the central ray is perpendicular through the open mouth, and um, this shows the atlas and axis um, through the open mouth, the dens and odontoid as well. And next, we will move on to our cervical spine obliques. 
Okay, moving on to our um, cervical spine obliques, you can do an RPO or an LPO position. Um, we're first going to start with an RPO. So I've got her turned 45 degrees um, with her right shoulder against the board. That's why it is the RPO. Um, I have a 15 degree angle on the tip. You can use 15 to 20 degrees um, cephalic. And you still enter C4. So I'm going to have her just pull it a little bit. Go. I've got my marker up here and her shield on. I've got my tube aligned to my bucky. Um, for this, it'll be an 85 kgp at 22 mats. Um, and I will have her suspend her respiration. One more thing before I do forget is it is a 72 inch SID. So that will actually change our pollination just a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So I will have her suspend her inspiration. So blow your breath out. Hold it out. Take the exposure. You can breathe. And the anatomy shown in this is the intervertebral foramina and pedicles farthest from the IR and um, an oblique projection of the cervical vertebral bodies. Now we have her again rotated at 45 degrees. This is the LPO oblique position. We've got the 72 inch SID, 10 by 12 cassette. I've got it collimated down to the 10 by 12 and I've got it entering C4 which is about the level of the thyroid. And then I've still got her shielded. Just make sure you rotate the shield around um, just however you have them turned to where it is blocking everything. Um, again, 85, or excuse me, 85 kVp at 22 mats. Um, you do see the same thing, the intervertebral foramina, um, pedicles furthest from the IR, and uh, cervical vertebral bodies in an ugly projection. Um, angle 15 to 20 degrees cephalus still, um, again 72 inch SID, and you can use 8 by 10 or 10 by 12 cassette, whatever your preference. Um, and now we will move on to the lateral projection of the cervical spine. And now moving on to the lateral projection of the cervical spine. Um, I'm going to have her, or I already have had her turn with her left side against the board. So I have it marked over here with the left marker. Um, we use a 72 inch SID. Take the angle off and I'll show you there so it's perpendicular. And uh, we're going to use 85 kvp at 16 mass. Um, and use an 8 by 10 or 10 by 12 cassette, whatever your preference. Um, I have a 10 by 12 inch lengthwise cassette in here. You are still going to direct the central ray into the level of C4, which is around the thyroid. Um, so here's my light. And I've got an inner level of C4. I've got my tube and my bucky aligned. I've got her shield turned around. So I'm going to have her blow her breath out. Hold it out. And just relax those shoulders. Just get her up just a smidge. Okay, take the exposure and breathe. Um, and the reason I scooted her up is just to make sure that you are entering directly into the spine, the cervical spine. Um, on the lateral projection of the cervical spine, you'll see the cervical bodies from a lateral projection, uh, the intervertebral disc spaces, articular pillars, and the lower thighs, hypopompasal joints, and spinous processes. And that concludes our cervical spine series. Y'all have a good day.